Well, we're live here at the Dort Fellow Event Center. We learned uh, here within the last hour from a Showtime executive that the main event tomorrow night between Ivana Hobbison and Clarissa Shields is now off. But the undercard will take place here tomorrow night at the Dort Federal Event Center. Now, the fight card was changed here just because of an incident that happened here at the weigh-in where Bashir Ali, the trainer for Alvana Hobbison, was sucker punched moments before the official weigh-in. There had been a confrontation between Ali and a member of Chris Shields' camp. The two were separated. The moments after that, uh, he was sucker punched. And they do have a Flint man in custody as of this hour here. Now, tomorrow all night there will be an undercard here and of course Ivana Hobbison could change her mind and come back and fight tomorrow night but she right now is down in Detroit uh, attending uh, or waiting in the waiting room of course for Bashir Ali to get out of surgery. There had been plenty of bad blood between the two camps heading into this fight starting at the press conference that was held in uh, August out here and Clarissa Shields addressed some of that bad blood yesterday. Like her coach was talking trash nine weeks ago. He was talking real, oh, he's talking real healthy. As you can see, this is the Clarissa Shields show, my man. She going to sleep, and her coach going to be carrying her all up on a pillow because I don't have no respect for nobody that get in the ring with me. You and your coach going to do what? He the best trainer. Man, he ain't nothing compared to my trainer. What is we talking about? Now, once again, Abana Hobbison could change her mind tomorrow morning if she decides that she wants to fight. She'll have to officially weigh in and be within seven pounds of Clarissa Seals to step into the ring and compete for the WBO and WBC 154-pound belts. We'll have to wait to see how that all plays out. But as of right now, I would not count, at it, count on it after the events here today. Look, let this be a lesson to everybody out there who do not know. Michigan is not a place where you come and run your mouth. This is a place of the head busters. Everybody over here is hyper masculine, super sensitive, and ready to check off at any hint or sign of disrespect, okay? Not Detroit, Michigan, not Flint, Michigan, not Grand Rapids, Michigan. This is not a place where you come and run your mouth. This place is full of demonstrators. You will get hurt out this way. Out this way, we're looking for a fight. We want to fight. We want to put you on your back. We want you to say something sideways. Okay? This is not the place where you come and run your mouth. Do not be disrespectful. Why do you think rappers skip Detroit when it comes uh, to doing a tour schedule? Okay? This is the place where you get beat, stripped, and sent home naked. Period. It's a reason why this place is a no-fly zone. We're serious about disrespect. We don't tolerate it whatsoever. Okay? So that's just a future reference for people. If you ever happen to come in Michigan, whether Flint, Michigan, whether Grand Rapids, Michigan, whether Detroit, Michigan, they do not play that out this way. You better be respectful. Period. Now, it's unfortunate that this happened because of a classless act. You know what I'm saying? And it pisses me off because, you know, this is in Michigan. You know what I'm saying? And I know how my people are. Hella aggressive. You know what I'm saying? Always ready to scrap. Always ready. Yeah, like I like it, but it's embarrassing at the same damn time, man. This was a classless act. And as you see, we don't have no discrimination. We don't care if you're a man, a woman, young or old. But one thing for sure, nobody should have put their hands on this man. There's no excuse. Nobody should have put their hands on this man, period. He got the right to talk his crap just like anybody else got the right to talk their crap. If you can't handle what he's saying, that don't give you the right to put your hands on him. Okay? He can say what he want. And I didn't like how, even though Clarissa Shield made a video disassociating herself with it and how she said she doesn't condone it, at the same time, she wasn't remorseful for it because he was like, he was talking hella greasy to my sister. He was doing hella greasy to my sister. Well, that's your fault. And, and the reason why I'm going to put that on Clarissa Shields, because number one, you got your sister that stood in a man's face. I'm sick of women. I don't care if you dress like a man, if you get faded up like a man, if your pants is sagging like a man, you got a baggy shirt on and all that other stuff and you talk with a man's swag. You are not a man. Stay out of a man's face. Stay out of his face. But, at, but as you see, 
She wanted to be in his face. And he let her know. He said, stay in a woman's place. You know what I'm saying? Don't be challenging no man. And he was right. But that mentality of thinking her, a female, can whoop on a man. Where have you heard that from? Clarissa Shields. When she gets up on the podium talking about, yeah, I can beat most of the men that's up here on this stage. Yeah, I can whoop Earl Spence. I can whoop Manny Pacquiao. I can whoop A. Adrian Broner. I, I need to get paid like the men because half of these dudes can't even uh, beat me in a fight. So you understand where that mentality come from. So when you see her sister being so um, aggressive with uh, Hobbison's trainer or a uh, coach, you know what I'm saying? You understand where it comes from. She know this about her sister. She knows this about her sister. You know what I'm saying? Because she got the same damn mentality. You think you can whoop a man. And she thought she can whoop a man. All right? But regardless, he can say what he wants. It's a press conference. It's a way in. He can say whatever he wants. But you do not put your hands on him. That's why it's unfortunate. But I'm glad that fight was taken from you. Because that was classic. That's an old man right there. He shouldn't be laid out like that. And you can't tell me that them people were not with you just because they didn't have one of your logo um, uh, sweaters on or something like that. They're obviously with you because why would they be offended to hit the man? OK, that was probably one of her bull dagging homeboys. You know what I'm saying? That went up there and, 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 and knocked this old man out. They didn't have to do that. So I'm glad the fight is taken away, but it's classless. OK. And it could have been prevented. But her actions is just a reflection of how Clarissa Shields acts. You know? And instead of being like, oh, well, he was talking real greasy to my sister. He was a, yo, sister was talking real greasy to him. Listen, it's offensive for a woman to get in a man's face and think that she can challenge him or whoop him. Because he's put in a position where society says I'm not supposed to hit you because you're a woman. But when does society tell you you're not supposed to hit me because you are a woman? OK, and that's the point that really kills me. OK, we're aware that we're not supposed to put our hands on you because you're a female, whether you acting like a man or not. But females, some are not aware that you're also are not supposed to put your hands on me because you know that me and you are not equal. OK, we're not on the same level. All right. So why would you even attempt to put your hands on me if you know once we get into a fight, you're going to be outmatched and I'm going to be the one looked at as the bully. He told her, stay in a woman's place. It was nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that whatsoever. All right. But that same uh, spice girl, woman rule the world mentality crap. You know what I'm saying? The same stuff that Clarissa Shields be kicking is the same thing. Your bull dagging sister guy and if you know you can't control her why did you tell her to go sit down be be calm you know what i'm saying um 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 this is my moment let's be professional let let's be that and that's why i'm not surprised that some crap like this happened in michigan you know and, and rightfully so i'm glad the fight is canceled because that man shouldn't have been hit like that he too old to be taking some hits like that you know what i'm saying he can say what he wants He's supposed to be up on stage. He's supposed to be looking at your weight. He's supposed to be doing all that. Y your sister being over aggressive and all that other stuff, that didn't make no sense, man. And the crazy part is, I was looking forward to this fight. Clarissa Shields looking sharp. Her weight was good and everything. John David Jackson got, had her looking sharp. I was like, okay, all right, good. She was looking good. But... You can't control your crew and you went up there and y'all beat up on an old man simply because you can't take what he says. But like I said, this is the head buster state. You know what I'm saying? We looking for a reason to put hands on you. A part of me likes that and a part of me can't stand that side of Michigan. You know what I'm saying? I really can't. Because it was very fucking classless. It's cool for Fighters and entourage to get out to. I mean, I haven't seen this nowhere else. I, you know, you know, what I'm saying I really have you. You knock out, you sucker punch your old man, and then run out the building. 
I haven't seen it no place else. I didn't see fights. I didn't see entourage get into it. But I never seen no old man coach get knocked out like this. And I mean, I mean, come on, dude. You know what I'm saying? But this, but this right here, it's unfortunate. And at the same time, as a person being from Michigan, it's just fucking embarrassing, man. Because we just too damn wild over here, man. But I'm not mad that the fight is canceled. I feel that she should feel some heat from it. And ain't nothing like hitting a person down like, you know, uh, uh, jacking up their pockets. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know this hurt Hobbison as well, but it is what it is. But this is all the more the reason why you are a professional fighter. You, you conduct yourself in a professional manner. Okay? You can't have... I, I'll put it like this. You can't say that that person was not associated with you or anything. What stops any random passionate person from coming up in a way in and putting hands on anybody that they don't like that's against the fighter that they favor? Nothing stops any normal person on the street from doing that. You never see any normal person on the street come in and do that. Okay? So it's no mystery that this person was with you. But unfortunately, it cost you the fight. The fact that you couldn't control your bull dagging stud sister and you couldn't control your entourage beyond that, it cost you the fight. All right. Now you see why it's important to conduct yourself in a professional manner, no matter what. OK, there's no reason if your sister was thinking about you. And cared about your career and what's going on, she wouldn't have acted like that. You know what I'm saying? It wouldn't have got that far. A after she told you to chill out and, I, and, I, and after my man walked away and then he went there and sat down, that should have been the end of it. But like I tell you, they live for conflict out this way. You know? So let this be a warning. You know what I'm saying? To all those people who come over here and think they can talk crap, you get your head bust. You know? And this will also be help explaining why some of you don't get my delivery why some of you don't get my style why some of you guys say my style is so aggressive and why are you so amped up and damn bruce you finna blow a, you finna blow a blood vessel or some shit like that number one i talk passionately that's just my demeanor that's just my um that's just my personality the aggressiveness comes from my background you know what i'm saying it comes from where i stay it comes from the city that i know you know so that's why most people don't get it. You know what I'm saying? It's actually a reflection of my environment. You know, only the strong survive. But um, this is unfortunate. And um, I I hope he's okay. Um, I don't want to see no man at his age. I don't know how old he is, but it's not hard to tell that he's an elderly man. I don't want to see nobody at that age get sucker punched. Because you can you can kill people. Well, I ain't, well, ain't going to say he was sucker punched, but I would have to say that he was sucker punched because I don't think he was engaging in the fight. I just think somebody ran up on him, just socked the shit out of him. You know what I'm saying? For the most part. And people die from stuff like that. And he's too old to be taking any hits like that. You know what I'm saying? He could have messed up this man. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Whatever. And then what if he went and died? You know what I'm saying? Or something like that. You were still expecting a fight then. So I think it's a good call to, to, uh, to call the fight off because stuff can't be rewarded like this. And this can't go unpunished in no shape or fashion. You know, we, we need to have something for it. Unfortunately, the boxing fans get robbed for it. But um, I'm not huge on women's boxing. So I'm not really missing much. But I was interested in this. But it is what it is, man. Um, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Bruce Van, I'm out.